How you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato. You're watching Nature here and now. So, it's mid-February right now. And it's been kind of cold, but it's been raining for the past two days. And it doesn't seem like there's a lot of wildlife activity except for the, the birds and ducks and geese and all that, right? But of course, fish are quite active right now. There's a fish that is about to migrate all the way out into the Sargasso Sea in order to reproduce. That fish is the American eel. Let me tell you about these cool little things. What I have here is the American eel. And these things are really cool because, well, they're super fun to watch at night while they're out looking for food. What's really neat about these American eels is, well, they begin their lives out in part of the Atlantic Ocean known as the Sargasso Sea. The adults will usually head out there in the winter or spring in order to reproduce or spawn. And, you know, they undergo these little mating rituals and stuff, and the females can lay up to four million eggs. That's a lot of eggs. After several days, those eggs will hatch, and you pretty much wind up with this tiny little oval-shaped thing with eyes. Now, sadly, the adults do perish shortly after mating, but by that point, they could be anywhere from 20 to perhaps even 50 years old, it's a little unknown as to how long they can actually live. So back to the babies, these googly-eyed little blobs will surrender themselves to the currents of the ocean and just drift about feeding and feeding while hoping to avoid becoming food themselves by predators such as birds, other fish, or just about anything looking for an easy snack. As those tiny little morsels continue to feed and develop, they begin to take on that more characteristic serpentine appearance that eels are famous for. However, they're still only several inches long and they're rather transparent, which is why they're referred to as glass eels. After a while, the currents of the Gulf Stream will actually transport them to the continental shelf of North America. That is where they start to work their way into the mainland rivers and creeks and brackish waters of North America and they start to take on their own pigment which is anywhere from tan or gray or brown and at that point we actually call them elvers. Elvers are really cool. The star of this video is an elver and as you can see they are nocturnal animals. You know they come out at night after the sun sets and they are constantly in a search for food and of course avoiding predators. One of the things I really like about eels is the way they move. Um, you know, the adults or even the elvers almost behave as if they're a ribbon tied to a stick. You know, you swirl that thing around and they're just constantly going. They're just really cool to watch. I found this little elver here in the brackish waters of New Jersey and uh, there were actually many of them about well after midnight. This eel will remain in these brackish or even fresh waters for anywhere between 8 to 25 years. When it's ready to reproduce, it's going to migrate all the way back to the Sargasso Sea and continue that life cycle all over again. If this one is a male, he's not going to grow any longer than, say, one and a half feet. However, if it's a female, she can grow to a little over four feet long. Similar to several other species of fish, eels can actually migrate over land on dark rainy nights as long as it doesn't take them more than say two or three hours to find another water source they'll be just fine they just kind of wriggle and snake their way about until well they hit the jackpot which is water i have to admit i've seen baby eels many times in brackish waters especially and they're just really, really cool to watch. Sometimes you can find them by the hundreds if you're in just the right place at just the right time. Uh, what can I say? American eels are amazing little fish. And no, they do not shock you. That's the electric eel. Can't wait to find one of them. Now, one night, I was fortunate enough to actually witness the adult eels in action and feeding. I was photographing lightning off the shore of a lake similar to this one and you know after a few hours the storm had moved on and it was almost three in the morning so I decided to hike back to the car 
and I was using my flashlight and shining it along the shores of the, the lake. And to my surprise, I actually found three adult eels that were feeding in the mud, you know, just wriggling about, seeing what they could stir up and consume. These things moved exactly how I described it before. They were like ribbons tied to a stick, and you're just swirling them all around. What was really fun is one of them sort of worked itself into a knot, and similar to a snake, it just, as it moved along, that knot traveled down its body and disappeared. And it was like looking at a magic trick. But that was a really exciting night. Um, that was the first time I actually saw adult eels in the wild. Well, as you can see, the rain is really coming down now. So I'm gonna have to wrap this video up. Uh, you know, if you ever see an American eel, don't fear it. You know, they are not dangerous at all. They're not aggressive. They don't get very big. They're not venomous and they will not electrocute you. That's the electric eel. Totally different species. You're not gonna find them you know, in Pennsylvania or anything like that. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chris Ignato. I'll see you in the next video.